What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Chantal did a vlog late last night. Started with a hamio. And, you know, this wasn't the worst vlog that she's done. I'm going to critique it just a little bit because there's ways she could have made it better. But I think it starts with the fact that we get nearly two minutes of dash footage. No angles, just dash cam, essentially. And I wish Chantal would look into other ways to improve her videos. Make them more interesting. You can take a mundane task and you can shoot it in such a way that it engages the viewer with it. I've said oftentimes, I think Chantal focuses primarily on the length of the video first. So I think she starts this whole concept with, I need at least eight minutes. So if I film two minutes driving, then that's going to only leave me needing six minutes of content. And this concept comes back in the middle of the video as well, where she roughly films about a minute of them driving between the stores. And I think mentally, that's what she keeps track of. I think she thinks, okay, well, there's three minutes. So now I only need five minutes of actual content. And it shouldn't be that way. Chantel should just simply go out and film what she wants to film. And if there isn't eight minutes of content there, then you learn over time through creating what eight minutes of content looks like, because it's usually far less than the content you actually have. You know, if you go out, you may film for an hour and only leave yourself 10 minutes of usable quote unquote content. I think Chantal goes out and literally sets her mind up everything I film, I'm going to put into this vlog. To that point, the first thing we see is a Canadian cow. I'm not even going to make the joke. She talks about the price of cheese curds and then elects to buy the smallest bag. She has no gallbladder. She's told to avoid dairy. The first stop is buying cheese curds. The next stop is a department store where she gets excited over cheese curls. She talks about these big boys and how much she loved them. I also notice she throws her purse all over while doing this. And it's just not a good idea because essentially, you know, you're going to leave it somewhere. More so when you're filming, but at least you'll have filmed where you left it. Since you're filming everything for the sake of making a vlog, you won't have lost it for long. It just seems strange that she does this. She also looks at these novelty socks, these earrings, which she brings up multiple times in the video. Chantal, you're wearing a hijab. You can't have earrings. Out of the hospital for, has it been a week? Maybe just over? She's touching everything. She's trying on hats. She's lamenting the fact that they may only have few things that fit her because they go up to 3X. Those are her words, not mine. So why is she even in this section? She goes and touches things in the toy area as well. She gets bath salts. And of course, because she is the heiress, the traveling CEO, the globe trotter of Vandalay fragrances, she has to look at some of the competitors' body sprays. But then goes right back to candy and snacks and sauces. To me, I think snacks and sauces are her two biggest issues because they just add so many unnecessary calories and she loses track. To that point, she gets tea that's on clearance, peanuts that are on clearance. She goes back, of course, to touching bags of candy. She did this in Kuwait as well, if you recall. There was a large bag of candy for children and she held it up like it was some trophy fish. I don't know what her and Amber's obsession is touching everything in a store. When I go into a store, I try to touch as little as possible. It's almost like Chantal goes into the objective of marking her territory and starts with the foods. We get more driving B-roll, as I talked about before, and I was actually shocked to see a Toys R Us. But on the way to Lush, she films her shadow where we can tell if the camera is her perspective, okay, looking down, right, or slightly out in front of her, she can barely see her feet while she walks. She goes into this local store where she looks at candles, earrings, and snacks. So if you're not keeping track, let me reiterate to you. We've went to a couple different stores with vastly different purposes. In each store, our obsession has been snacks that are cheese-based, earrings, and knickknacks. I don't know why she can't find what's unique about a store and film that, but I think it goes back to the same concept of we're not trying to create a vlog, we're just filming what we're doing, right? And when I go into the store, I want to look at snacks. I want to look at earrings. So that's what ends up on camera, even if you basically go from what was the Canadian version of Walmart 
to a Canadian version of a, a small, you know, mom and pop store. She then goes into Lush. She wants to spend her birthday money. Now, maybe you guys can help me out because I'm not certain with this. I thought she had been talking about going back home. But I don't see her buying anything in a travel size. So what was the point, other than just using all the gift cards, what was the point of all this? Because during it, she actually says, hey, I need to get massage bars for Sala while I'm here. So I, I'm assuming she's going to ship this over, but she's talked about how expensive the shipping is. I don't believe she's just going to be able to carry it on with her. I don't understand. Of course, leaving the mall, what do you think we stop for? Snacks for 100 Alex. She then, because she's with her aunt, has to go to a vegan restaurant where the vegan restaurant is pay by weight. Now, you would think someone that's had snacks, cheese curds, cheese curls, all waiting in the car, right, is literally about to get the lowest paycheck perhaps they've ever gotten in the last six years, would be cognizant of going into a vegan restaurant that is pay by weight, where she is again throwing her purse all over the place, and she is astonished that she is going to eat $40 worth of food. Chantal, I would offer when you go to restaurants like this, it is not the quantity of the food, but rather the quality of the food. And I know when you're going to the Chinese buffets, it's the inverse, but this is what happens when you go to a place that sells food based on the taste and not the amount. Now, when leaving, the woman not scared of international travel, wanting to go into restricted airspace, is all of a sudden scared to walk down a small alley. And I understand a lot of this is, pun fully intended, hamming it up. But again, it's just another opportunity where she could have set a scene out, right? There's no one else around. She's by herself because her family wanted to go into a bookstore. And she wasn't interested. So to me, it's very childish that from the outside looking in, it appears that everyone went to the places Chantal wanted to go. The department store, Lush, the cheese curd factory. But then the one place her family wanted to go, Chantal had to go sit in the car. Which, you know, even if they aren't mindful of her, they are mindful in the fact that she's in the car waiting and it's going to kind of create a rush for them. But again, I think it just shows the her first concept she has. We close this out with Park B-Roll and then this afternoon she promotes Sala. So interestingly enough, Sala is on the couples channel, which has been essentially dormant for so long. He goes for a beach walk in real life. And I'm not sure what the purpose of this was, other than to try to, you know, get some interaction back on that channel, because they're going to need that if she truly sees the need for a second source of income. But this video was essentially just him walking around, showing the area, telling us what time it was, telling us what the temperature was, telling us he felt safe, telling us to be respectful, and that he was just out touching grass. So we literally went from Salah's not allowed on the internet while she was there to now Salah can go live stream by himself and walk around just like he did in Thailand because clearly Chantel's had time to kind of let that check marinate before it hits her bank account. And she knows, listen, we got to get both streams of income rolling along. And the best way to do this is for me to promote the other channel we have. So I think it's a matter of time before Salah starts gaming again. But at the end of the day, without interesting content, people aren't going to watch. No matter who is walking, no matter what is being filmed, this literally is the epitome of lowest effort content. And that's how I can sum up an hour and 20 minutes in less than 10. Gonna leave you with the top comments from the last video. Appreciate you watching this. I will be back soon as I can with more commentary.